Good morning, everybody, and thanks for joining the BFIT Live program. Today, we have our BFIT ambassador, Roy Montez, here to take you through a live at-home workout. Uh, this is all stuff that you could do from your home. Roy is coming to us from his home. Roy, how are you doing today? Hi, Leah. Good to see you. Welcome back. Monday motivation workouts. It's a great way to start the week, so I'm doing fantastic now. <laughs> Excellent. So, excellent. Are you ready to get going? Absolutely. Absolutely. I've um, programmed a, a, a fun workout for us today. It's um, I thought <laughs> today we'd touch on a few different options on what you can do to versatile your workouts here. So uh, whether you, you, where you put your hands, where you put your feet are, uh, play a big role in different uh, workout movements and exercises, they can regress uh, the workouts to make them a little less challenging or they, or they can progress uh, your workouts to make them more challenging to suit your needs. So I've come up with uh, four different workouts here that we'll run through for uh, a little under a 20 minute workout is, is what it's gonna total up to. So we're gonna do four exercises at 40 seconds each and 20 seconds of rest in between each exercise with one minute rest in between each round, and we're gonna do four rounds today. So each of these workouts, each of these exercises are gonna have a specific uh, uh, focus on where you put your hands or where you put your feet here. So uh, I'll go through these four workouts and then we'll warm up our bodies and then I hope our BFIT Nation is ready to work here. So our exercise number one is going to be a split stance squat. So we're gonna play, pay a little bit of a, a closer attention on our stance here. What we wanna do is, is, is have our feet uh, about a foot back, uh, one foot in the back from the other. And we're gonna focus on lowering our body here to absorb on our quad here. Our weight should be primarily on that front foot here. Our rear foot is just gonna be here for a, a guide and for an, a little bit of an absorption of your weight. But most of your weight's gonna be up here on the front and think of it like a lunge. Your, your body weight here is gonna be at the right above your heel. And you're gonna press here from your heel all the way up to your starting point. Lower your body down, nice controlled, nice and smooth, and back up to the, uh, to the top of that position there. That's gonna be the first exercise. We're gonna do 20 seconds of each left and 20 seconds of each on your right uh, leg there. Your second exercise, we're gonna go into a split stance push-up. So again, where your hands, our place here is going to uh, dictate a little bit more of a challenging effort on what you put out here. So we are going to come down into our push-up position here. Make sure I'm on camera. And we are going to take a left hand forward and a right hand back. Okay, so, so when you're on the floor, it's going to look like this as far as your hand position. So 20 seconds uh, of split stance push-ups. So you're going to do 20 seconds uh, left forward and 20 seconds right is gonna be forward and your left hand will be in your rear, right at your chest level here. So your, your front hand is gonna be up at the top and you're gonna lower down, absorb that weight at that chest level and then right back up to the starting position. That's gonna be your split stance push up. Our third will be a single leg balance resistance row. Again, we're going to absorb most of our weight here on that front foot We've done this one about two weeks back here, but it's one of my absolute favorites uh, for, for at-home workouts here. It really forces your body to uh, focus on balance here, uh, controlling your weight and your momentum while lowering your weight down here. So we are gonna have one foot that's gonna be pivoted forward. Our rear foot is going to be about a foot off the floor here. We're gonna drop into a 45 degree angle. Wanna make sure our neck, our spine, all the way to our tailbone is in a neutral position. Our legs just gonna be hanging there, forcing our body weight to absorb this weight here, focusing on balancing and controlling. And we are gonna have a, uh, some sort of resistance with us. If you have anything with the handle here, a gallon of water, dumbbells, kettlebells work great. If you have that at your disposal at home and we are going to balance here, my arm's gonna be out to counter weight, counter balance. And we're going to row here. That's gonna be 20 seconds of your left leg on the floor and then 20 seconds of your right leg on the floor, okay? 
And then our last and final exercise is going to be a plank arm reach. So we are gonna go down into a plank position, which is gonna be on our elbows here. Down here on our plank, hold that position nice and tight on this position. And you're just going to reach out. There we go. Nice and easy for 40 seconds of work here. So we wanna keep our body at a uh, low momentum of swaying here. Focusing on not swaying and just keeping a nice solid core here. That's gonna engage our core stability and focus uh, throughout all of these workouts actually. You wanna make sure, pay, fo pay focus on your core being nice and tight and nice and controlled, okay? So again, you're just joining us. We're gonna run through four exercises here, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute in between each round here. So I'm ready. I hope you're ready. Now grab some water here. We're gonna start off with some dynamic stretching and then go right into our workout. All right, let's get moving here. Let me adjust my camera for you. All right. So let's go ahead and before every workout, we want to make sure our bodies are nice and primed, nice and ready to go, nice and warm. We want to have our blood flowing to our specific muscle groups, our full body as we're working out today. So we want to go ahead and get this body moving. I know mine has been pretty idle this morning. So I'm here, I'm showed up, I'm ready to go. So I'm telling my body, showing my body we're about to move. So let's go ahead and move these muscles, move this body around and get in the right mindset here. It's important to get in the right mindset for what you're about to tackle here. So we're doing some leg, uh, leg tucks here just to focus on opening up our hips. Getting these legs ready to go here. Okay, I'm gonna move into some hip circles here. Right leg, left leg, inside to outside. Again, we're gonna be doing some squats, some lunges. I wanna make sure that my hips are warmed up. My quads, my glutes, my calves, my hamstrings are nice and fired, nice and ready to go here. Outside to inside, large circles here. Just like you were lifting over a hurdle here. Nice. All right, let's go into a reverse lunge with a reach. So I'm gonna stand shoulder width apart, right leg's going back into a reverse lunge, and my left arm is gonna reach all the way over to my right side. And you're gonna feel that stretch in your lat. You're also gonna feel that contraction in your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, you'll, you'll get that, you'll get those glutes fired nice and nice and warm here. All right, it's gonna reach, reverse lunge to reach here. A few more with this movement. Okay, let's go into an alternating fixed feet with a lateral lunge here. Feet are gonna be more than shoulder width apart, almost like a sumo squat. You're gonna lean over, hands are gonna be right in front of you. Lean over to your right here, hands are gonna be nice and nice and forward here. Back to the top. Once you're at the top, you wanna squeeze your back together. Squeeze your shoulder blades to get that back activated. Lean over to the right here. Squeeze at the top. Lunge to the left, squeeze at the top. Each of these movements, we're doing about 30 seconds worth of work here, just to get our body nice and warm. There we go, shake that out. So we go into some body weights here, body weight squats here because I know we're gonna do some lower body work here. I wanna be mindful of how I warm up. 
and really lightly activate these muscles and movements before we get into the work. All right, keep it up guys. All right, let me shake that out here. Hinge reaches here. We are going to hinge at the hips here. Feet are gonna be slightly inside of shoulder width apart. You're going to hinge at the hips here. So you wanna have a, a soft bend at the knees. Hinge at the hips. Arms are directly out in front of you. Over your head, reaching up and then back to the, stop, the starting position, which is gonna be hands over your head. Hinge at the hips here. You'll feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Your lats are gonna stretch up from your arms being raised. Nice and smooth here, nice and controlled. Again, not too fast. We're just looking to warm everything up here. Just a few more here. My hamstrings are a little tight, so we're gonna pay a little extra time and tension and control here with these hamstrings. All right, ready to go. Let me grab some water, towel off real quick. I'll start my timer and we're gonna get started here. Okay. Excellent, make sure you're staying hydrated there, Roy, right? Oh, yes, ma'am. So uh, I, I am coming to you from my house and I have the luxury of working out outside on the patio and it's roughly 90 degrees today here. Uh, humidity is very high. We had some, some rain yesterday, so uh, make sure and stay hydrated. But I enjoy these sweat sessions. I enjoy kicking off my Mondays and uh, sweating outside with everyone. So I hope they can see me putting in some work. Okay, split stance squat for 20 seconds on each leg. It's gonna be up on deck here. All right, we're starting in 10 B Fit Nation. Okay, once again, our feet are gonna be about a foot width apart here in five. We're gonna lower that body down and go. Lower that body down. You should, we should be pushing up through the heels here. Our weight is gonna be over that front foot. Our rear leg is just going to absorb some of that balance if we need, if we need. Five more seconds of work here on that right leg. Really focus on driving through that quad. So let's switch. There you go. This is gonna be a nice and tucked in movement here. So we wanna be nice and tucked in, nice and controlled here. Nice and smooth, lowering down, extending up, feeling that contraction through your quad. And let's rest here. 20 seconds of rest here and we will go into a reverse, a uh, split stance push-up actually. Split stance push-up. This down here. All right, split stance push up. My left legs, my left hand is high. My right hand is at my shoulder width, and I'm pushing down just like I would a normal push up. But you're going to feel a lot more weight on that right hand. Whichever hand is closest to your chest is going to absorb a lot more of your weight here. So your right pectoral is going to be on fire here. Two, one, let's switch hands here. Switch our hand grips. So my right, my left hand is next to my chest. My right hand is gonna be slightly above my shoulder, lowering down to the ground, nice and smooth. Two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, and we will go into a single leg balance resistance row. First round in, I'm gonna start off with my gallon of water here. Five more seconds to go here. All right, let's work. Right leg's back, left leg is balancing. My left arm is countering my weight. And I am just working on rowing here with whichever weight that I have here. So if you have a gallon, of, a gallon with you, just like me, let's go ahead and row. I want you to focus on that foot that's down 
Focus on balancing here. That right leg doesn't have to be very high. Five more seconds of work here. On our left leg, next round we'll hit our right leg. And time, 20 seconds of rest. And we will go down into a plank with arm reaches. Plank with arm reaches. Again, we're looking on really contracting our abs here, contracting our core, strengthening our core. If we've been sitting for a long period of time, this will absolutely get you fired up. All right, down to my elbows into a plank position and I'm just reaching out in front of me about head height here. Let's keep the swaying to a minimum. So keep those hips nice and centered. Let's try not to dip so much. 17 seconds left. Let's just reach at our own pace here. All right, eight more seconds. How are we doing? Five, four, two. All right, time. All right, we earned ourselves one minute's rest here. One minute rest, and we'll go into round number two. <clears throat> All right, let's grab some water, stay hydrated, towel off. Yeah, I've been running some pretty long distance runs over the weekends, 12, 14 miles. So <laughs> picked up another gallon of aqua hydrate for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it really I helps with, mm, absolutely, it really helps with replenishing those electrolytes that I absolutely need, especially on hot days. Yes, All right, sir. 13 more, 13 more seconds of rest here and we'll go to and that's, we'll go back into that split stance squat here. Okay, two, one, profile view here. My left leg is forward, my right leg is just about a foot back. I'm going to squat down, absorbing my weight on that forward foot here pushing up through the floor, through the heels, keeping my body over that front foot here. It's really an alternative to a lunge here, switching legs here, right foot forward, keep it nice and tight here. You don't want that rear foot to absorb too much weight. It's just there for balance, for safety. And again, it forces your body to adjust and to pick up the slot, pick up the weight. 20 seconds of rest, starts now. Back to that split stance push up. Let me know if you tried this out yet in the comments below. Split stance push up here. Again, our hands are here for 20 seconds each. All right, left arms forward, right arms back, chest. At chest level, I'm lowering keeping that core engaged, focusing on pushing through my chest. Five more seconds of work. Let's go at your own speed here, nice and controlled. And I'm switching. There we go. Let's try and keep that head, the neck through the tailbone, spine all the way down to your ankles in a relatively straight line here. Keep that core engaged, eight more seconds. One. And time. All right, let's bounce back up. Twelve more seconds. Let me grab a dumbbell here. Second round, I'll go a little bit heavier. First round, just easing into things. My right leg, my right leg is forward this time. Left leg is back. And we're rowing. Again. <clears throat> That left leg that's back, it's forcing your body to work on balance. It's forcing your core to fire and engage. It's forcing those glutes, that glute that's down, it's forcing it to fire, forcing it to keep your balance all the while rowing to activate those back muscles, especially your lat, and you're gonna feel that here your glute should be on fire here, whichever one that was down, 19 seconds of rest. 
and we're going into a plank arm reach. We'll give you a different view here. Three more seconds, I'm getting down, lowering. Okay, 40 seconds of work here. Feet are shoulder width apart. And I'm reaching. I'm on my elbows, reaching at head height here, keeping my hips from swaying. So my core is engaged. That navel should be contracted and pushed back towards your glutes. Keep those glutes tight as well. 10 more seconds. <laughs> All right, time. There you go, guys. One minute of rest now. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Good job, Roy. Good job. <laughs> and everybody it. watching, if you're just joining, Roy is taking you through a live at home eFit workout. So if you have any questions for him, you can drop those in the comments and I'll read them out loud to him. Yes, so this is absolutely. every Monday, 11 a.m. Central Time. Um, Roy comes to you with a live workout. Yes, ma'am. I can tell you that not any workout has been the same. No workout has been the same as of yet. And we've been doing this for a little while now. So 10 more seconds of rest here. We will go back into that splint stance squat. Split stance squat here. <clears throat> and these are quick uh, 20 to 30 minute workouts that you can do from your own home. Yes, ma'am. It doesn't take long to get your body moving, to break a sweat, to change your mind, change your mentality, to push you forward in the right direction, in a positive direction for the week here. All right, we're alternating feet. Start the week off strong and let's get those workouts in. Again, lowering nice and controlled. Quality of reps is the name of the game here. Two, one, and let's rest. 20 seconds, catch your breath, and we're going down to a split stance push up. Eight more seconds here. Again, these are workouts you can do anywhere, whether at home or outside. All right, my left hand is high, my right hand is chest level, and I'm lowering 20 seconds each arm. <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite variations of push-up, just because it breaks the, the common norm of a push-up, but forces whichever hand that's lower to absorb most, most of the weight here, <laughs> instead of distributing evenly amongst your left and right. And time. All right. Good work. Let me know if you like that one. 12 seconds of rest here. And we're going into a resistance row. Back to our left leg for 40 seconds here. All right, let's work. Left leg is down, left arm counterbalances. Your knee should be in a relatively straight line as well, as well as that rear leg. Try not to let it cross your center here, okay? You should feel that burn and whichever leg is down here in your glute, it's burning. 10 more seconds of work. There we go. Three, two, one. Good work. All right, plank to arm reaches, plank arm reaches for the last and final set of our third round. All right, we're more than halfway there. Five more seconds of rest. <laughs> All right, let's go. 40 seconds of work here. Nice and smooth at your own pace. 
Now, again, if you need to regress here, let's come off our knees, but let's keep reaching, okay? And if you wanna progress this, let's go ahead and come up to a high plank position, left arm up, just like you did, right leg out, okay? You were like, Roy, that's too easy for me. Let's go ahead and modify it to a higher, more challenging workout. All right, <laughs> come back down. <laughs> and time, all right. That's round three, one more round to go. Last round. All right, good work guys, good work, stay with me. Again, these workouts, I know some of us have been forced to work out at home, so they are literally the foundation uh, that gets me through my week. So if you can relate, drop a, drop a flex in the comments below, but workouts have been absolutely instrumental to getting me through my week, getting me through isolating and uh, just knowing that I'm pushing myself uh, better, faster, harder, stronger than you know, the week previous, the week prior. So again, if, stay with me, let's keep this in. We're, we're in this together. So let's keep going. Last round up here, split stance squat, 20 seconds each leg. Let's work here, stay nice and controlled, lower down as low as you can go here. Again, we want to absorb all of our weight onto that forward foot. And explode up if you have just enough energy here. Really feeling that burn, switch legs on that front foot. There we go. Keep that center above that front foot. We'll keep that weight on your quad here. Down, hinging at the hips, sit back, explode up and time. Good work. 15 seconds of rest here. Split stance push-ups. Let me know if these are your favorite. <laughs> Five more seconds here. All right, well, let's if, work. If that is yes, too challenging for people, um, are regular push-ups an okay alternative or? Absolutely. If, if, uh, if anything feels challenging to your body or, or challenging to your joints or your flexibility, go ahead and alternate and, and modify it to fit uh, your ability. So if you want to go off of, uh, you know, hands to the chest push up here, by all means, let's go ahead and push that up. This is just a different alternative. And again, if that push up is getting to you, let's go ahead and go off the knees and keep, keep that form. And we're resting now. And what's even better than off your knees is if you have a chair or a wall that you can push from, what really, uh, it, focus, it forces you to keep your head, your spine, all the way down to your ankles in a neutral position here. So if you can push off of the chair, that'll force you to start practicing that relatively straight line here. All right, single leg balance row. My right leg is the last one to work here. So again, I'm balancing on that right leg. My left foot is just above the ground. And if that's too challenging, go ahead and put that foot on the ground. Okay, absorb some of that weight and take some of that balance off. Keep that core tight, keep engaged. Seven more seconds of work here. There you go. My body wants to flex here. Keep that core tight. One and time. 20 seconds of rest here. Last set, last round. Last set, best set. <laughs> I'm glad you said that about your foot on the ground because that was my other question. <laughs> of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. If these split stance, um, if, if they are too challenging for you, then by all means, go back and let's revisit our regular stance, our neutral stances that are the traditional stance that you could possibly take here. Arm reaches under 40 seconds. Keep that core nice and tight, nice and engaged. Oh, it's burning. 
keep pushing. Let's keep that flight to a minimum. Almost there. <laughs> keep reaching. All right, good work. I'm gonna give myself a round of applause on that one. That was a good one. <laughs> good job. Yes, ma'am. Like very tough. Of course. If, so if, if you're just, not just, but hopefully you just finished this workout. Again, these were some modifications to advance our normally standard uh, positioning of exercises here. So our split stance squat, instead of our feet shoulder width apart, what we did was we took that split stance variation. So we took most of our weight and put it on that forward foot. And that allowed us to absorb more weight into that, uh, essentially that one leg that was absorbing all that weight there. So that's the um, idea. And that's the cool thing about a uh, switching your grips or your grip, your hand placement or your feet placement and positioning. So your split stance push-up. once again, we went high and low here, but by all means, you can go revert back to that traditional push-up for more weight to be balanced within both your left and right arm. If you notice our hands were shifted and our, they were split. So most of our weight you were feeling on that chest positioned hand. So that right arm or that above arm was just guiding you here. It was just guiding you and causing you obviously not to fall over, but allowing you to put more, more tension, more weight on that uh, chest level arm, whichever one it may be here. And that single leg balance resistant row, again, that split stance, we were actually balancing off of one leg. So again, that's the progression to a regular stance row. And it forced you, it forced us to really um, activate and fire on our glutes while balancing. So that was a two for one there. And obviously our plank arm reaches, you can stick to that plank, that low plank for 40 seconds. But what we did was we threw in an arm reach again, just to modify it enough to make it challenging for us. <clears throat> so each week we've been progressing, each week we've been building up strength, building up momentum. And so these are just different alternatives to help you uh, get creative at home, <clears throat> find different approaches to our uh, normal uh, push-up or, or plank or squat variation. So these are just uh, different additives to add in your toolbox of fitness related workouts here. <clears throat> Again, let me grab some water here. All good information, Roy. Thanks for sharing that. I am just checking and I, I don't see any questions on the live feed right now. Um, I saw someone asked earlier if this would be on the Army MW. Will this be posted on the MWR page? And I believe that they share these um, every week. Just lots of people watching from all around the world. Um, people mm -hmm. tuning in. Fantastic. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for joining so much. And for the question, uh, it may not be posted. I know MWR reshares and they've been uh, great at doing so. And, and, and I absolutely appreciate it from our BFIT program. Um, if you would like additional breakdown information on the form, on the workout itself, um, go ahead and visit shopmyexchange.com forward slash BFIT. And I'll post a recap on our BFIT hub page. And it'll break down each exercise as well as bullet points on form checks. So, so things that I want you to focus on, on how to execute these exercises properly uh, through each four of these exercises for today, it will be posted on shopmyexchange.com forward slash BFIT. Excellent. Do you have anything else to share with the audience, Roy? Uh, you know, I, I just want to thank everyone for tuning in, thanking, every, thanking everyone for watching. I know uh, times are challenging, and if you're 
uh, like me, you look forward to fitness and, and just clearing your mind, taking some time to focus on yourself for 30, 35 minutes like today. And that really makes a huge impact into how we move forward and tackle our days. You know, th things can come up and, and, you know, if you're in a good mental and, and physically fit space, uh, mentally and physically, then, you know, you will be, uh, you know, better situated to tackle uh, things that come up. So again, uh, turn, turn to fitness, take care of your health and your well-being, and um, we, will, we will get through this and we will uh, keep, keep going together. <laughs> yes, great advice. And everybody watching, thanks so much for joining us. Until next Monday, same place, Facebook Live, Keep It Workout with Roy. Bye, yes, guys. Thank you, guys.